An emergency vehicle operations center is the place where first responders are trained to deal with the kind of adverse driving conditions they'll encounter when protecting the public. The instructors at this facility conducted a real-world test to see how the all-wheel drive systems of the top five small crossovers performed in a variety of conditions. Let's get to know them. I was formerly a SWAT member for 10 years. In my current assignment, I'm the director of training for an emergency vehicle operations center. I was a police officer for 16 years. I was a paramedic for 27 years. I've got 21 years of law enforcement experience. I've been in law enforcement for approximately 23 years. Without playing favorites, the instructors randomly picked keys from a hat to assign driving order. Each of these seasoned drivers got behind the wheel of the Subaru Forester, Ford Escape, Toyota RAV4, Mazda CX-5, and the Honda CRV and subjected each to a barrage of tests. First, they tested these vehicles on asphalt to see how they maintained control on curvy roads. All right, Subaru. Woo, this is an interesting feeling. But the steering and the suspension and everything is, is pretty tight. The weight transfers back and forth. There's very little body roll. Hey, you know what, chap? The handling by far was the best on this one. What do you think about uh, the all-wheel drive systems on these cars? I, as a consumer, would not be able to tell that you had an all-wheel drive feature in the Honda, the, the Toyota at all. With the Subaru, I could feel myself being planted on the road. I could tell that all wheels were connecting. Even if I didn't know what all-wheel drive was, I would still call it a better performing car and a, and a safer feeling car. One thing I found about the Subaru is it had very little body roll. It stayed it stays flat. very flat yep. on the ground. Right. Overall, what do you guys think? I go Subaru first. I agree. It was now time for the instructors to take these vehicles off-road to see how their all-wheel drive systems performed in adverse low traction situations. We'll start with the Subaru since that was the first one up. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> the first off, the running start. Walked right up it. No issues at the yeah. top. And making that sharp turn on the other side, there was no dig, it didn't dig in. It just it pulled it right out. It looked like it allowed you to carry your momentum the whole way. <laughs> right. right. Kicking right. the pants. You didn't have to work it very much either, right? Didn't have to work it at all. Subaru was steady. Right straight up the hill. After the sand test, these instructors took to the hills, where they were especially impressed with the Subaru and its X mode with hill descent control, which automatically applies braking to help drivers stay confident and in control when descending steep hills with adverse terrain. That descent thing's freaking awesome. Freaking mind boggling. That thing's incredible. Let's change drivers. Let's do it. That X mode, that thing just blows me away. The Subaru. As long as you kept gas to it, it stayed on the hill. Mm -hmm. Everything else, you had to functionally put the brakes on. I started it at the very top of the hill, took my foot off the brake, and it completely controlled the vehicle all the way down. In an adverse driving world, Subaru vehicles provide stability. Hills, curves, slick roads. No matter the conditions, you'll be in the driver's seat. 